have Frank with me today, and one of our performance coaches here at Power for Success, and we're gonna talk to you guys about what the heck do we mean when we say screw your feet in, screw your arms in, why are we saying that first of all, and second of all, what the heck does it mean? Uh, so Frank's gonna grab uh, the weight here, we're gonna go into a goblet squat position. Uh, as he goes down into the squat, um, if he had a weak knee position, uh, we'd see his knees kind of dip inward. So if this looks like you when you're squatting, you're rolling to the inside of your feet, uh, outsides of your feet may even be popping up off the ground. You can see his hips are outside of his knees. Um, that's gonna put a lot of stress in through the knees, probably gonna cause you to arch your back a little bit. That's a very, what we'd call weak position. So if we were to screw his feet into the ground, which if you think about his feet basically screwing around this way, so if, he had a, if you look down at your feet and you have a clock, you're gonna go, if this is 12 o'clock is off your big toe, you're gonna try to basically get that toe to rotate out towards the nine. Your foot isn't actually gonna move, but what that's gonna do is drive his knees out apart. And then as he sits down, you can see his knees actually almost come out. Now in doing that, he's still maintaining contact under his foot. Let me go ahead and stand on up, Frank. So as he comes down, we should maintain contact underneath the big toe, underneath the little toe, and in the heel. And you can see how much more upright spine angle is nice and parallel to his shins. And basically what that's gonna do is allow him to have a very stable hip. So we're just gonna let Frank sit here for about 10 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so you can go ahead and stand it up, Frank. So what I really want you guys to think about anytime we're doing a closed chain lower body exercise, which would be squatting, deadlifting, uh, single leg deadlifts, uh, anything. Anytime you have your foot on the ground, thinking about those three foot points on your foot, right under the big toe, under the little toe, and the heel. And that's gonna be very important in the golf swing too to make sure you have a good connection to the ground as you're swinging. Now Frank goes into a, a deadlift with a kettlebell. As he goes and sets up, he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna screw his feet into the ground, hint drive his hips back, and you can see how those knees take a similar position in terms of driving out a little bit. He's very stable through the hips, maintains those three points of contact. If you're doing this correctly, you're probably gonna feel your arch engage a little bit. Um, the muscles in your foot and your arch actually work very directly with the muscles in your hips. So the more stable you are in your foot, the more stable you're gonna be up the chain which means you're gonna be able to perform the exercises much better uh, with much more efficiency. And that's also gonna translate on the golf course where you're gonna be hitting the ball further uh, because you're gonna be swinging faster with a lot less effort. So hopefully this helps to answer the question of why we're screwing in the feet. Now what I'd like to do is get into the hands. Um, so if we kinda move this over and if we have Frank get into a push-up position, let's have you back up a little bit, Frank. There you go, perfect. Okay, so there's two positions in your arms that can be weak or strong. So weak would be if we take his arms and rotate them in towards, that's what we call internal rotation. That'd be a very weak neurological position. The shoulder's in a very weak position. If he can screw his hands into the ground, so similar, it would say his middle finger's pointing at 12, it's, he's gonna try to almost dial it out to the side. His hands doesn't actually move, but what, what does move is up at that shoulder. That's gonna lock in or centrate the shoulder, put him in a much, much stabler position. Um, from there, if you're in a push-up or any of your plank positions, uh, what basically we wanna do is between the shoulder blades, push up towards the ceiling, good? And you're gonna see with a centrated or a screwed in hand, along with a good, uh, what we call a serratus uh, activation, so that shoulder blade is uh, flush, against the rib cage, we're gonna be in a much, much stronger position for us to do uh, complete our exercises much better. And I'm being mean and making Frank stay here. This is a very hard position, you can relax down. This is a very hard position and you, Frank is a big and strong guy. Um, so if you're just starting out, don't get frustrated if this is a tough thing for you to do. But what I want you to do is just be more aware of the position, particularly when you're in a plank or a push-up, anything where your hands are on the ground, thinking about shoulder blade position, are you trying to screw your hand into the ground? If Frank was in a plank position, he would do the same thing, trying to get the elbow kind of inside the hand. Uh, this is this and with the feet, it's just critically important for us to really create good tension, create stable joints so we can prevent injury and really increase our performance. Hopefully you got a little bit out of this in terms of why we're asking you to do these things and now I actually understand what we mean when we say that. Uh, if you don't, if you have further questions, as always, let us know, shoot us an email, give us a call. Uh, we look forward to seeing your progress very shortly.